can't go wrong with something fried holding your sandwich together. This is thousand percent get this thing. <laughs> it's not good. Yesterday we explored the mountains in northern Georgia and today we're making a quick pit stop in Atlanta for a few food and drink related things here in the city. And first up we have World of Coca-Cola. For those of you that don't know, Coca-Cola is headquartered right here in Atlanta. And we're not big soda drinkers, and even if we were, Coca-Cola probably wouldn't be our top choice, but we heard that they have a hundred different sodas that you can try from around the world, and for whatever reason, <laughs> it sounded fun to come and do. It just sounded so fun. I don't yeah. really know why, and we're not going to try all 100 no. because one, that's a lot of sugar, and two, I don't think anyone actually wants to sit and watch us try a hundred <laughs> different sodas, so we'll see which ones seem the most unique and weird, and we'll give those ones yeah. a shot. So as soon as you walk in, they get the party started real <laughs> early. So you get a choice of four different sodas. You can get the regular, this is a life that I've never heard of. There's also a diet and, and zero. And a zero, zero I, think. I think so. We give you a free, you free a little drink one. already. And I think we're waiting for some show. It says next show in two minutes. So I don't know what the show is, but this is a museum and then we'll eventually get to go try all the sodas. We'll probably rush through the museum because we're really just here to drink all the different sodas. <laughs> Boom, you got yourself a room temperature Coca-Cola. Mmm, <laughs> refreshing, right? It's movie time. The guy warned us before the movie, he's like, it's emotional, I have yeah. tissues if you it's need a it. It's tearjerker. The film is a little <laughs> teardropper, so please, all my fans <laughs> out there, it's okay to cry. I got tissues in the back. I thought he was joking, but I actually cried. <laughs> It was like a montage video of like big moments in people's lives, like somebody getting uh, proposed to, getting married. But then like the oh. one that gets me every time is like when the service member like comes home. Well, first and they were like recording a message for their family, then yeah. they surprise the family, yeah. and I was like, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, I didn't expect to cry at the Coke World of Coca Cola today, but yeah, we weren't allowed to film the movie. But yeah. if you come here, <sighs> okay, heartwarming. Time to go drink soda now. Yeah. <laughs> Going into the vault that contains the secret formula of Coca Cola. Which one is it? The secret formula for Coca Cola is here. the world. All right, we're going to start off with Asia. Oh, that one's cool. This is the Fanta Melon Frosty from Thailand. I read on their website, they had a list of some of the most popular ones, and this is one of them. Yeah, it smells like melon. <laughs> and we're trying the watermelon soda from the Philippines. These are very colorful ones yeah. to start out with. That actually... This one's really good. It tastes just like the juice of a, I don't know, maybe a honeydew? I don't know, because it's green, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, it's really? a melon. That one's really watermelon -y. Ooh, I like this one better. This one has more carbonation. That feels like more flat to me. This kind of tastes like candy. This one's really good. This one from Japan has a photo of a carrot on it, so that sounds weird. It's called a Vegeta Beta. I don't know. It's just not carbonated. It kind of just tastes like a juice, not really a soda. Try it. It's good though. I like it. This is the one from China. It says sour plum, but it doesn't give you other, any other indication of what's in it because it's like scratched for some reason. But here we go. Mm. The smell doesn't isn't very good. <laughs> I don't like that one. <laughs> oh, it smells like barbecue. 
barbecue sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not good, right? <laughs> oh, the aftertaste is even worse. Sorry to those of you who like this. I'm sorry. Every taste bud's different. <laughs> I mean, sour plum sounds like it would be okay, but... Mm. It's like smoky, like barbecue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's weird. That's okay. We were hoping we wouldn't like some of these because yeah. that makes it more fun. Makes it more interesting. <laughs> I read that the Bebo Candy Pine Nut's supposed to be a, an interesting one. I don't know if good. Just one of the fun ones to try. Oh my god, that's sweet. It tastes like something I've had, but I don't know what. We are still in Africa. This is the Bonbon Anglais, I think is how you say it, from Madagascar. This is the Stoney's Ginger Beer from Tanzania. I don't like how this one smells. It smells okay. That one tastes like medicine. You know, I was took a sniff of this one and it kind of smelled like Alka-Seltzer and it kind of looks like it. Is that what it tastes like? A little bit. It kind of tastes medicine-y. This one tastes like medicine. Oh, yeah. This is like Robitussin. Not, I'm not really a big ginger fan. So there's a place in Seattle called Rachel's Ginger Beer. I like that ginger beer. But I, this one's a little bit more gingery than I personally like. I'm not a fan of this either of these. We have now crossed the ocean over <laughs> to Europe. I have this one called Beverly from Italy, which is supposed to be like an aperitif. I don't know if that's how you say that word, but it's supposed to be like that. And the, the one from Sweden, the lingonberry, caught my eye, mm -hmm. so I'm going to try that one. Oh! <laughs> Here, I have this one. It's pretty good. What's up with this? It's really sour. It's bitter. Oh, this smells like the, uh... Oh, this one's good. This one's good. This smells like the fluoride at the dentist. <laughs> it's not good. I feel so bad. I feel really bad not liking some of these. Oh. <laughs> it's really sour. At first, it's not so bad, but then... <laughs> I don't like that one. Oh, give me that back. <laughs> this one's good. Yeah, get, wash that down. Okay, I'm going to throw away like, this cup. I, I think don't... you're supposed to, like... Put maybe like something like this in that. Oh, maybe we maybe. did it wrong. Or it's, maybe not. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> it's like Sprite with like cucumber or dill. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're down in Latin America. I've got the Quat, it's called from Brazil. And I got the Inca Cola from Peru. And we're actually going to Peru in June. So it's a little teaser of, yeah. I guess, what we'll be I'm getting excited up to. to try that one. It tastes a lot better than it smells. I don't know what the smell smells like to me, but it tastes it's pretty good. This is good? Yeah, no, I, I think it's it. pretty good. We're doing this while we're on the Inca Trail. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've got our soda fix for... <laughs> like five years. Yeah, quite a <laughs> while now. That was, that was a lot. <laughs> that was really fun to try yeah. all of them. I think we probably tried 15 to, 15 20. to 20. So they have five different like country, Station. continent oh. kind of areas. Stations, yeah. Yeah, and they have eight on each one. So mm -hmm. I guess they only have around 40 from different countries. and. Eight of those were North America. We didn't try any of those since we can easily have those here. Yeah. But then they have this like Coca-Cola freestyle machine. I think that's where the other that's 60 where it of adds them. Up to 100. Yeah, 100. Yeah. So there's only about 40 of them from different countries, and we tried a good chunk of them. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Like some of them are kind of weird, and you know we might not like to drink <laughs> them all the time, but that's kind of part of the fun of it. It yeah. made it more interesting. And no regrets. <laughs> kind of made us want to travel even more. You yeah. Know, go and taste them in the place. Yeah, I think some of them would be even better if you're like sitting on this beach in the Dominican Republic. Yeah. Public. Yeah. I, sip I don't in a know. Country club. <laughs> yeah, sip in a country <laughs> club. So that's enough uh, sugary liquids yeah, for us. Uh, it's time for us to go get some solid food. Oh, Probably yeah. sugary ones too, <laughs> but a mix of sugary and savory. Let's do it. <laughs> One of our favorite things to do while we're traveling around is to look out for like food halls or little markets. So we came to Ponce City Market. And this building used to be the old Sears Roebuck building. It's absolutely beautiful and it's very old but also restored looking. And inside is now a bunch of different restaurants, shops. It's just multi-use kind of area. And so we're gonna go on a little mini food tour. <laughs> Stop number one at Pond City Market is Five Daughters Bakery, and we saw this bakery in Nashville. I think it's actually from the Nashville area, but we didn't have a chance to try it out there, so when we saw it was here, we knew it was a sign that we had to do it. Yeah. 
and they have this thing called a 100 layer donut. It's their version of what's called a cronut. It's a mix between a croissant and a donut. And the way they make it, it takes them three days to make it. <laughs> it's a labor of love. <laughs> yeah, and they have a variety of ones you can choose from, but I saw this one in the top right corner and I just had to have it. It's called the King Kong. <laughs> It's bacon. What's the sauce? It on looks kind of like it has peanut butter on the it. Butter, I don't know. Yeah. There, it, and then the bacon has some sort of spices yeah, on it. Yeah, it's like pepper, like pepper, which makes bacon to the next level. Yeah. So. Oh man, yeah. this looks so good. <laughs> this thing's pretty hefty, and you can already see like kind of some of the layers in there, and it's got like a nice dusting of of uh, sugar on the outside. But let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't oh, no. go as beautifully as we yeah. oh, oh man, it looks like really croissanty though. Man. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Dude. Hmm. It's really it's chewy, but soft at the same time. It's like flaky, you know, you can see from the croissant. It tastes like a donut, but it tastes like a croissant. The bacon is salty. I'm bad at picking flavors, so <laughs> I don't know what it is yet, but I'll figure it out before we get out of here. But the bacon is salty. It's got a little pepper in it. Super sweet. This is thousand percent get this thing. <laughs> I don't normally eat gluten, but sometimes I make exceptions and just deal with the aftermath later. And this looks too good yeah, to pass up. You gotta get it on. <sighs> Where do I go? Right here. How is it? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's cream in the middle. Yeah, I was wondering. I was wondering if it was just the, from the top, but yeah, there is something in there, right? Actually, I remember it saying there's vanilla buttercream. But it's not. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh okay. my gosh. Yeah, I thought that was part of the breadiness of it. Oh but, yeah, my gosh. Cream in that. <laughs> that maybe the best. No, that is the the best donut I've yeah. ever had in my yeah. life. We actually came to the market really early this morning to meet up with some friends for coffee at Dancing Goats, which was delicious. So if you're looking to do a coffee donut bang bang, <laughs> you cannot go wrong with those two places. Oh, awesome. That would be the perfect way to start the day. Yeah. <laughs> market is probably one of my favorite ones we've been to so far the vibe inside is just so cool it's very trendy it's very industrial for yeah me. I just I love like the interior design of it yeah there's tons of different like fairs of food that you can try from like Latin there's an the Indian place there's tons of places that you can sit down eat just hang out there's little shops it's Really cool yeah, spot. I really, really like this spot. Our yeah. friends recommended it. And I'm so glad they did. I mean, it's full of food, so what, what could we not like? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're done with the sweet stuff. It's on to the savory, and we're starting our savory treats off with just a light snack. This guy. So we went to Biltong Bar, and if you don't know what Biltong is, it's it's a South African thing. It's air and Dry, air dried and cured meat and it's similar to beef jerky so we got the popcorn and they have uh, parmesan cheese on here they put the biltong and all mix it up together toss it up in the air and it smells good it also has peri peri salt or seasoning in it and we were watching this guy make this and he was just loading it up with all the good stuff and this is the first like not sweet thing we've had today we're so hungry mmm Oh, if you like like cheesy popcorn, this is amazing. It's really good. It has lots of like powdery, cakey goodness on it. Mmm. That is so soft. Like, it pulls apart. It's kind of like the texture of prosciutto almost. So they kind of compare it to a beef jerky, so I was expecting it to be really tough, but it's incredibly soft. Ah! Oh, hell. Mmm, that is nice and soft. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of popcorn, too. Like, this is a pretty good portion. Oh, man, I really like this. I, we kind of like, thought, like, this was like a, like, a something small, kind of just a little quick snack, yeah. like, nothing crazy, but. I like that it's, like, caked on there, like you said. Mm -hmm. It's, like, really good. Buttery and cheesy. Yeah, and this stuff is really soft. It's got a nice meat flavor. Yeah. So ever since I heard of this stuff a few months ago from some nutrition guy I follow on Instagram, I've wanted to try it ever since, but it's kind of hard to find in the U.S. I think it's still kind of catching on, but now that I have it, it's, I wouldn't describe it as beef jerky. It's kind of like, I mean, this is shaved, and so 
Maybe when you have like a full piece of it, it might be more jerky and chewy, but this stuff is really good. I like it. It's supposed to be, I think, more of like a natural way to make kind of a beef jerky or like cure meat, so from what I hear. Our next stop is El Super Pan, and we got the Cuban sandwich, but since I can't have the bread, they do it on like a fried tostones. <sighs> this thing, I didn't know what to expect when we ordered this, but this has exceeded all of my no expectations. This looks incredible. It's very, very, very hot to touch, and it has a bunch of different meats on it. We got pork, I believe there's cheese on here, there's mustard, there's pickles, there's this, um, green sauce. This is gonna be a very messy disaster. I might as well just dig in before it falls apart. <laughs> that might be better than an actual sandwich on bread. That, I mean, you can't go wrong with something fried holding your sandwich together. This is so good. Mmm. The meat is super soft. I haven't tried this green sauce yet. Mm. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I wasn't sure what to expect with this. This is absolutely incredible. All right, it's time for me to dive into this monstrosity. Oh yeah, these look crunchy and good. Like, mm. Yours looks even better because yours has more stuff hanging out. Yeah, on. yeah. Oh, there's all kinds of pork on there. It looks like different cuts. The cheese. Mmm. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. This might this might take the trophy away from bread. This is like <laughs> these are really good. It's got a nice like fried flavor to it. Crunchy, like I said, soft in the middle. And it's holding together pretty yeah, well as a bun. Yeah. And then the the meats in here are super good. They just pull right off. Mm. And the green sauce. Excellent. food stop at Pont City Market. We were at Badewala Indian Street Grill and this place hands down wins for like ambiance. So you could order you order at the counter but there's a ton of places to sit down and it's just decorated really cool in here. They have tons of different Indian treats and sodas and toys and just tons of really interesting things on the wall that I've never heard or seen before. Now I'm like wondering were any of these sodas at Coca-Cola? <laughs> But we are starting off with a hot chai, and I know we said no more sweet stuff, but as soon as we saw they had hot chai, we knew we had to get some. When we were in the UK a couple years ago, we went to this restaurant called Dishoom and had hot chai there, as well as Indian food there, and absolutely loved it. So this brings back memories of being in the UK and going there. And then they also gave us these cookies to go with it. When we were researching places to come here, I saw these things in a picture, and so we had to check it out at Bayou Walla, but these are tamarind glazed uh, beef ribs and man there's like a like I said a tamarind glaze on there and I guess they roast them or put them over the fire and that gives them like that black char oh these are nice and soft and they really smell good they have like ginger soy uh, a tamarind glaze sesame seeds on there mm. are sweet and spicy like that burnt crunch on there oh yeah and the glaze is so good. The ribs also came with a sauce called Raita. It's R-A-I-T-A, so I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's a yogurt type sauce, and I think it has cucumber, maybe some dill. There's a bunch of green flecks in there. So I'm gonna try mine with that. Mm. Oh man. I think the flavor is really complex on this. It starts out kind of sweet and not spicy. I mean, now it's gotten a lot spicier. Those are really good. It's, the flavor is unlike anything I've ever had. It's delicious. They have this after meal freshener. Mukwas? I'm not really sure, but it's fennel seeds and candied fennel. And I guess you just, I don't know how much you're supposed to take. I'm assuming this is how you do it. Mm. 
That is very interesting. Man, what an awesome <laughs> food day. Before we got here, I was looking at the website of the market and I thought it was cool. I was really interested in it. But man, once you get inside and get in there and like experience it, it's like a whole nother level. And the food everywhere we went oh. was so good. And then also the Coca-Cola thing, all the sodas, you kind of get out of your comfort zone on some of them, but it was just a fun experience. Yeah, we didn't love all the soda, so, but yeah. it was really fun to try them anyways. Yeah. But Atlanta was supposed to just be a really quick stop for us on our way yeah. back down to Florida, and I really wish we could stay longer. We've been too. really surprised and impressed by Atlanta today. I mean, maybe it's because we ate just bomb food, yeah. but that must mean that there's more amazing food out there that be. we need to try. So Atlanta, we will be back. <laughs>